Alright, let's clear Annihilation 17 Research Lab Hangar with the low end squad. This is the squad we're gonna use basically with the core operator charter from the support unit. And the enemies from this event are the one from Dorothy event, so with the Gundams. It's actually really simple and most of them are enemies uh, without much problem. Maybe only the last wave will require you to have pretty good defenders and medics. And uh, yeah, that's basically the only uh, problem. The squad we're gonna use is this one with the corporator charter, just as, like I said before. And the flag vanguard, your best caster, your best AoE medic, your best single target medic. Uh, two of your best single target medics. The AoE medic, um, Elite 1, max the level, uh, perfumer is more than enough. But if you have uh, Elite 2s, so just use them. Here is because my friend uh, Elite 2 her perfumer, but trust, trust me, Elite 1 is more than enough. I will not use her skill, so to simulate Elite 1. And uh, yeah, after that you will require, you will, ha you will need four of your best defenders. Since the Ranger Gundams will attack four units, and um, you just need to deploy the defender as last four operators to counter them. Then your best arts damage dealer, if you have a guard Mia, even better, and a ranger guard, um, any ranger guard to start to start the game. Last slot, guys, up to you. You can bring whoever you want, and let's do this. First of all, immediately deploy flag vanguard here to gain DP. Then Chen here face on the bottom side. Now just wait a bit for more DP and deploy. Ranger the guard here, face on the right side. Oh, and just keep get DP every time you can. Deploy now the best caster here, face on top side, to take down these Gundams on top side. And later this two as well. These two you can don't care about them, since they will just... Uh, just uh, get killed here. And um, they are not counted inside the last 400 enemies. So even if you want, you can leak this two. So even if you leak this two, you will still complete the challenge of... Um, the mission of killing 400 enemies. So leaking or not to the last two, the two enemies on the bottom corner doesn't affect the rewards. So it's the same. But of course, winning without losing anything is cooler. So we're not uh, going to leak. Now just wait for this caster to kill the three, the six Gundams on top side. Now you can start to deploy the medics since uh, we must deploy the ranged units first. So one medic here face on the right side, your best, uh, one of your best medics, then one burst medic here face on the right side. This burst medic is really important because she will save Chen from the last wave when the old when a lot of uh, a lot of the rocket launchers will come. Now don't deploy anyone on this tile yet, because we need to redeploy later the caster here to take down this other tree. Remember to keep get DP with using your flag vanguard. If you have a horn here, your horn will also help a lot uh, during some big waves. You have a lot of choices to substitute with your operators. One more six stars will literally change the, yeah, the difficulty. Now just to kill this last Gundam on top side and retreat. And now you have to redeploy later above uh, the ranger guard to kill the other tree. Okay, caster ready, so caster face on top side. Here if you want you can use chance kill, because we don't need it to save chance kill for the first uh, 200 enemies. You can just use it when you feel there's pressure. Or just use the ranger guard skill as well, that can also help. Now, after you killed all the Gundams on top side, they retreated this caster, and now you can deploy the AoE medic here face on the bottom side. Here maybe, if you want, just use the skill a bit, to reduce the pressure. When the caster is ready again, now caster here on bottom side, face on right side, to kill these two Gundams as well. And then range the guard here, uh, range guard, uh, melee arts damage guard here face on left side. Don't don't retreat the murder yet because later there's a small wave where two where the enemies will come two by two so you need this one to help block but after that small part you can retreat only that small part is uh, they will come two by two the rest only one by one and activate chance skill now just start to deploy your defenders so one medic defender here your tank is the defender here and keep the ranger guard here for uh, for now. 
yeah, this medic will heal a bit the Gundans, but just let her heal. In any case, your castle will be able to kill the Gundams. If you have Chen skill ready, just use Chen skill because Chen with the skill will kill them once disposed from the steel side. Also, keep remember to gain DP. Just let's save around 300, 400. You don't need that much, but uh, just uh, for sure. Higher number you have, uh, yeah, you can uh, like feel better. At least you don't have the fear to be, yeah, to to don't have DP in case you need. Them. And normally, Chen with auto attacks uh, can kill all the enemies uh, coming, unless uh, during the some pressure waves. Uh, Oh so, yeah. Okay, as you can see, they will come two by two, and this one will just get plotted by Miracle. Yeah. At wave 170, so be careful. I mean, even if you, even if you lick the small one. Uh, it's fine because the small one can only charge like uh, really low for the Gundam, so we'll not wake him up. This is the other way with the, with the two of them. These are still fine; they don't have that, that much damage. The problem is the big one, uh, which will start to spawn uh, later, and uh, they have uh, really high damage. They will also do arts damage and. Uh, is better, yeah. This one you can see really, really big, it does a lot of damage. You will need someone really stronger here, or me, or just like a mouse, which you can reduce a bit the enemy's attack. But the Gardamia with the first skill, yeah, will just do well the job. Or if you have Mountain here as well, but even if you use Mountain, remember to um, put a caster here because during the last wave, there is a Gundam coming out. So we still need this medic to help heal. Okay, this is the elite version of it. Just to have a good medic here, you will, you will find, you, you will do well. I'm using answer. If you have better one, you must be able to heal enough. Now during this small wave uh, with a lot of enemies, just activate this uh, a bit uh, skill here as well uh, to reduce a bit the pressure. Here, remember to be careful. And with the wave 250, we are done. Actually, there is a still a small ball uh, which will need to spawn from here. You get DP. Okay, Gundam's incoming. Small one. Activate the Ranger Guard skill with some art damage to kill faster the Gundams. If you feel you need, just use the skill for a moment. Then deactivate it to save for the big wave later. Yeah, you can see. The Art or G1 big Gundam is coming. And later, a uh, rocket launcher Gundam will also come. As you can see, just right behind. Now for this one, really simple to deal with them. Just need to activate a defender skill to tank less damage and activate a chain skill as starts damage, damage skill. Now if you have a strong defender, with, when with the skill uh, the defense can reach over 1000, you should be fine. So, you can use Quora, but my friend deleted to Quora, so I will not use Quora. Now, here you can retreat uh, finally Myrtle. 
and the change in retreat range of the guard as well and now deploy the other two defenders one here and one here Gundam reaches uh, in the attack range. I will choose only the last uh, the four ground units we deploy. This four. And we will not attack our medics, uh, snipers, um, only Chen uh, because uh, when they come, um, like slowly, slowly walking, Chen will be the first one reaching the attack range. So that's why we need uh, some good medic to heal Chen uh, until they can reach uh, here, which will also change later the target. And they the Chen skill. Actually, you could deactivate it a bit later. It's mainly to save the a bit of time for the like, next wave. For the skill, sorry. Wave 300 is the most hard one. Deactivate the skill again. Deactivate it. You should be able to charge it in time. Nice. No. If you feel you need a, a damage, you just activate the chance skill. Okay, they activate around now, 330. Because the Gundam is coming, as you can see. Activated the skill already now for the defender, so earlier you use, uh, earlier you will charge it for the next wave. Here we go. As you can see, the first one already attacking the four defenders. Huh? The other one is still attacking uh, the stone bottom side, but now they will. Yeah. They will, both will attack uh, the defend, four defenders. Don't look them, uh, yeah, they will do low damage because the damage is split between four, but when doing the normal attack, the uh, damage is still high. So when two of them are here, remember to activate the skill, the defender skill. Now change the skill. And the last wave, which is the hardest one. Okay. Is here. If you can leave the Gundam with a bit of HP so Chen can charge the skill. To be honest, this is still not the last wave. This is the one of the hardest wave before the true last wave, which is at the wave 391. The last nine enemies are the hardest to win. You can now use the castle skill to kill these enemies faster, so at least uh, you will reduce the healing pressure for Mausa. Now here when you need, uh, remember to activate uh, defender skill, I mean, and uh, charger skill. Activate it when you can see only few Gundams of these remain. Here, remember to heal. As you can see, the last 10 enemies actually, because, because if you kill this one, it's last 9. 5 of the melee Gundams and 5 of the ranged Gundams. So activate the caster skill to kill this one faster. Faster. And you don't need this medic anymore, so you can retreat this medic, since this Gundam will not move. Now, oh, let this two arts damage dealer kill this one, and you can retreat to this two. And now, last nine enemies. Four melee and five of the range of the remain. The other two are not are still not spawning, now they will spawn. This is the last wave which will uh, test your um, the ability of your medics and defenders. I mean, I'm using four stars, so you should be fine. I bet you have a five star, six stars build. Activate, uh, not yet. Now deploy a medic uh, here, face on right side to help a heal on bottom side, and activate. Uh, um, how is called? Uh, a chance kill. Now caster here, face on top side as well. So redeploy the caster. This one will do a lot of damage, but don't worry. 
even if she dies it's fine, we can redeploy them in time before this comes. Because just remember, the last four operators we deployed are the defenders, so even if this one dead, is this last three. So you just have to deploy a ground unit, because ground units are tankier than melee, uh, than ranger units. So, yeah, retreat this caster as well. This medic will later will be targeted. Now when this one inside the ranger, we we'll don't hit the chain anymore, as you can see. But we'll choose this medic. Gami is ready again, so retreat this one. And deploy a Gami. Now activate the burst healing to protect the Chen. Ah, oh, Chen is dead. Alright. Good moment to show you what to do in case Chen dies. Just resist until... Um, until Chen gets ready again. I should have activated the burst healing a bit earlier, to be honest. But uh, it's fine. 15 more seconds. I can deploy this one here face on top side to help damage. This one here face on top side as well. A medic here face on top side as well. Chen will be ready soon. So activate the burst healing because the defender is going to die. Activate this one. Chen face on bottom side. And the skill. As you can see, even if your Chen dies, uh, you still have chance to I mean to win it. But uh, just uh, don't let her die. <laughs> don't be like me. Activated the burst healer a bit earlier. I waited like two more seconds, and uh, that, uh, that two seconds uh, can actually fight. So, that's it. Um, besides the mistake you shouldn't uh, follow, hope this video helped you um, to complete this annihilation. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!